Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Tron Bianchao Let's Play. We continue for episode 24 from turn 91 in the harvest season of 208. So, our third kingdom is back, Kingdom of Wu. They have retaken the Emperor seat from Queen Zhu Rong. Let them fight it out, not our problem. We do have plenty of problems. Liu Bao's army is on the move. As are all these armies coming towards Dong. We are getting attacked everywhere and we're going to lose a lot of land. That's okay. First things first, we have to wrap up our own fights in the north, and that will free us up to go south. Should be their last army here. That should be a Yellow Turban Rebellion, yep. So this should be the final fight against Liu He. We'll look at the south later. It, it's a mess. But first, got to get our battles done. We can't delegate. We have to fight. They have plenty of garrison, but this is sort of a pretty simple fight. We don't have any fancy siege weapons or fancy firebombs, but we do have Hail of Arrow, we do have some strong generals to take care of things. And then they will just sail down. Uh, the weather is not in our favor. It's fog and there's a bit too many tree where we are standing i think this is fine we'll probably just set up here yeah that's probably where we want things i'm gonna just go with regular arrow for now just for their damage Okay, for the sake of the safety of our front line, this is probably best. I don't think we're charging them up anytime soon. We might go snipe a general a bit later. They're charging out, that's perfect. Just hit that. Can we get a duel? Yep. Alright, let's turn that off. And then we'll charge up. They're not related by any means. Gonna be pretty easy kill, one at a time. Ready lit up the other tower and the oil. They're going to gather up first and then charge me. Be nice if we light this up by accident. Or we could just ignore them. Nice dense area here. I'm going to engage the other general in a duel before we send out the Hail of Arrows. Light up this tree. Should be done with this fight relatively quick. Start going. Go for poison. Duel the other general. Swap to flaming. I'm gonna go out. Don't have a great angle here. We're just going to take out their range. 
gonna be the ones doing the most damage to us. Frontline has collapsed. They have javelins. Okay, that's what's going on over here. We'll just engage that. Nice. So they've been killed. Pull this way. Gonna start hitting here. We're gonna take our cavalry out for a run. Alright, if they're gonna start pulling, then we're just gonna hit them. See if we can hit these. Yep. And hopefully a couple shots down. We're gonna have to go into the range, which I don't really want to. Let's just pull back. I think our archers should have enough to finish this group off. And then we'll do a couple more of these. Go back to regular arrows. Try to shoot across. I guess they're not low enough to get that shot off. We'll ignore that. We'll hit this group. I, mean, I just have to kill the spear units and then we're done. No more generals. Ooh, spear units hidden in the forest. Not gonna have enough morale to hold us though. back. If their range is gone, then the rest of the spear just have to kind of walk into us. Which is not really possible. There we go. And I believe Lucas faction is now wiped. Probably don't even have to spend lineage. Not enough casualties to justify that. Especially with Lu Ji leading the army. Not terrible. Vain is like the only bad part about him. I could also just take the extra 400. A level 7 commander. Yeah, I guess we wouldn't want Vayne. Extra morale... Let's just get extra range block chance for range unit. She's not running range unit, that's the only thing. We are administrator. So extra expertise always helps. Let's just work our way down this way. We 
don't have to keep this at this high level because we're giving it away, but then again, demolishing it. Yeah, will probably be the play. We'll downgrade this slowly until we pick this up. Scion Administrator. And then give it away. Become a trade partner with it. We are headed down south. How do we want to strike? We could strike at... Lan. We're not fully healed, so I don't know if we want to hop into the water. I guess we could. We're still going to heal in the water. It's our area. Until it's not, then we start sailing. We'll be there soon. They have a bit more. Uh, I don't know if we want to spend money on buildings just yet. Right, so that fight is done. I'm headed all the way up here to take care of a rebellion, which I think is quite silly now that we have this problem. I might end up going with a different plan. Lubu is technically ours. We can welcome him back. There's a lot of spying to do. We'll be getting that next turn. I think once they take this, they can start heading back. Jolyon still has some tough fights here. Okay, we'll save some time. We'll just use Lineage to heal back up. Alright, very high tier, but not exactly what we need. It's not a terrible building. That's something we don't need. We're probably going to end up keeping this. We might drop it down a level first. Just so that we can convert it. Regional city is fine. Hmm. There is this army that popped out over here. Luo Jun. That I'm supposed to take care of, but... It'll take us at least another turn to get close. They'll grab it this turn. And then we'll retake it. I guess that's the only plan. Alright, there's going to be a rebellion. That's the other thing I wanted to take a look at. Is it worth it to just start forcing rebellions? Because it seems like that's what's going to happen anyways. Or do we want to tone it down? Because it doesn't look like we kept, what, one place positive? It's still many, many turns. 11 turns. We could really use the money and the food. I could do this and just start putting out armies where there's going to be rebellions. Like, Dong is not even a concern. Like, we know there's going to be a fight here. So we're even pulling units towards it. And then we're doing double ambushes. 
Where we make sure the units are unbreakable. That's the key. And then we just have to summon an extra stack, I guess. They would stay... They would stay inside. I would give her a full unit. Increase upkeep for all units. It's not great. But extra morale for melee cav. So extra morale for melee cav. Hundred and six. I don't want to move the army because they are still replenishing. We can do three melee cav. I don't think we have too many choices. Either either the Wuhan one or go with the elite. I guess the elite will be melee cav. Do they count as melee cav? Because they're purple. Which is why I'm a little concerned that they don't count as melee calves. Alright, just to be safe, we'll get three of these. And then we need some siege weapons. This is the only reason why we recruited her. Anyway, we can make them look neater. Can we, get, we can't get a yellow dragon. Yeah, I guess that's fine. And they'll guard Dong from the rebellion as well. And then we pull in to summon more. We need probably three groups to hold this from whatever is coming, which is a lot of stuff. They have a weird setup here as well. But we're going to go cheap here. We're going to go with these Oath Fellas, which have decent damage. But the main thing is, it's super cheap. And they'll stabilize here. We're probably going to give him a captain, but they, they're going to have to stay put because there's Rebellion here as well. We will help us beat one back, but that's not really helping. Rebellion's everywhere. Alright, Dragon still has a tough fight. We still have to fight that. Wisdom the River. Or Night Battle. He's also going to give us one available army if we pick this. There's a lot of good stuff here. Do we have Night Battle on him? We already do. So there's not a lot of value there. This is probably better, actually. Unless we want Wisdom the River. I'm going to take Reach first, because he will give us extra army slot, which I know we're not utilizing, but eventually we will. We have to fight this. We didn't pull off Offensive Ambush, which would do quite well for our army in particular. But we really like these items. Let's see what we can do here. They're encamped, so they get towers, but I think we have fire arrows on these? So if the weather is fine... Weather is fine. Ah, oh, we have a lot of options, I guess. Tower versus tower? We also have invisible troops. This entire group is invisible. These two are invisible. Somehow I think the AI is going to know that we're there. Oh, they kept it open. Okay, that's good news. They cannot duel. It's not nice. Um... Do we send them in? Who has better... 
They have better defensive stats. All right, we're sending them in. Loose formation, maybe. Don't think it helps. Yeah, we're gonna get decimated. But fire spreads, fire spreads. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Alright, pull back, pull back, pull back. We lost two units. Some of them are bouncing back. That one might not bounce back. Oh, nope, came back. Lots of range. Uh, they sent a guy over here. Might just be normal response. Um... What we're going to do is set up the invisible cavalry to charge at their archers. And then pile in with these. Okay, they pulled them. I'm gonna start advancing on that side. Let's snipe. Let's snipe him. Oh, he's moving. Oh, that doesn't always happen. Actually... We're just going in. Just here to harass. Hit their spear. Hit, hit their range units. Oh, I didn't take care of the generals. Swords out. Charge. Hit the guys behind. Swords out. Charge. 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 Actually, just chase that group. They can take care of the people inside. Alright, we're still applying Analyze Weakness. It's all good. This spear unit is a bit of a problem. Spear versus spear. Take care of that. Take care of that. Fight him off. Alright, help us fight the spear off. Alright, collapse on this.
we'll ignore that. I think army loss would kick in over there. We didn't take that tower. I think it's minor. They bounce back. Okay, army loss across the board. Sort of. There we go. Wasn't clean. And we can't use lineage because it's not one of those fights. But we can hide back in the settlement and heal up. Not the best army setup. It's good for ambushes, but that's about it. We want their item. Can we capture them? Thank you. We'll take money. We are rather poor. Okay, now we get the ambush, and I think we can just delegate this one. Right, so we're going to take this, they're going to rest up and then sail across and take care of this. Get us this, actually take this first, make this a vassal, but then we also can't trade with this vassal because it's not connected by land. Kind of a useless vassal. Maybe we just keep that. All right, I believe all our existing armies have moved. We have 3k. Let's try to find him some friends. I don't know if we can get that. We can maybe summon one more here. This is where I'm kind of stressed out about. A lot of candidates we can send out. Guanpin's supposed to inherit an army, so is Wei Yan, so they're not coming out just yet. Zhuge Liang. Yeah, I guess that could work. We can afford one of these. Unbreakable. 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 It's the most important thing for them. And then I'll give him some siege weapons, some range units, crossbow units, and then another cavalry group, and then he's going to ambush on the right side of Dong. And we are just going to use Dong as sort of the defensive position here in the south. People are on their way already. This rogue army... I think Liu Bei's group, and maybe we'll find them some help, can take care of them. It's not that hard if we just flex the generals a little bit. We do have a bit of cash. I don't think it's enough to hire any new spies, which is what we would want. Look at all these candidates. We want Li Ru. But we also want Zhang Liao. We also want... Jia Xu. We need a... Discredit faction. Oh, I can't recall who we used it on. That's an incorrect choice. Or else it would have gone to 40. Alright, that's a correct choice.
So Zashu is not willing to turn, but he's going to leave because we dropped him below. We dropped him below zero. Liu Dai is heir, but I don't want him. I don't want to assassinate Dong Min here. I can pick up the faction. He's not even in the family. How is he heir? That's the super messed up part. Zhang Liao, I don't think he's going to betray them either. Thirty-five. Yeah, Lady Lady Yan joined Liu Bu's wife, but um, it's not who we want. We can extract him. I don't think John L is coming this way. We'll hang on to the air. He's probably leaving. Yep, so he's going to come back to us. I can also choose to disown him because I don't really want him back. He's leading an army. Where is he on the map? Okay, I can kind of check to see if I want his items or anything like that. Nope. We're going to simply disown him then after taking last bit of points from him. Disown. I don't think Lee Rule's, Lee Rule's not leaving, is he? Yeah, 14 points. He's still fine. We just don't have money for it. Rebellions where... Dolan's gonna get one. Hodon's gonna get one. We have units at both of those places. Yobe was going here, but I think our solution is just probably this. We'll not send an army this far north. Just doesn't benefit us. Luan can have a rebellion, that's totally fine. <laughs> We're about to lose the city anyways. And that's pretty much it. A little bit of diplomacy check and we can move on. That's not really possible now, is it? Alright, let's go. Alright, someone trigger our ambush. Nope, they're taking baby steps. Oh, more com army coming to attack our vassals, most likely? Losing our vassals will be losing trade income, which is something we don't want. Shenpei's gonna have to fight in the Shandong Peninsula here and try to defeat Kongrong and uh, Toltian. Another <laughs> Yellow Turban Rebellion fighting led by Liu Bu again. He should leave them on the field. We get plus 20 public water. Now he's just killing them way too fast. They are going to take Luan. Um, take it. Hmm, Liu Bao's army backed off. Maybe Liu Bei's army could give them a shot. Yellow turban led by a Han general? Or maybe they're looters. It's the same flag. Or similar color flag. Zashu. There we go. So he did come to us. He's 61. That's fine. Historically, he lives to like 83. He's, he's a young man. All right. Zhang Liao is still hanging in there. 
administrator of Shangyong, which is his capital, which means we can't take it even if we grab him. She got married away, right? She's in the family. What she can do is try to kill the heir. And once she kills the heir, we can maybe try to kill the leader. If she becomes heir, he's administrator, but it's kind of useless. We could grab Li Ru and Lu Bu and then just not take Zhang Liao. Bit of a shame. Oh, that's our spy who we disowned, came out anyways. Long Shuang? Ah, he got art from the TUP mod. He's pretty insignificant. Dies during the Northern Expedition. Waste General over pursued. Got killed by Zhuge Liang's ambush. Unless he has an item, we're not grabbing him. Come to us. He does have an item. Well, at least grab him for the item. Might not keep him. Galshwin fighting with Liu Bu, picking up levels. Um, sure, just worry about the army setup for now. I think we're firing him for sure. Ambush, snipe, stock, specialist for own retinue, which I think it's... Okay, I mean, it's interesting. Oh, bomb slinger with snipe? Invisible bomb slingers? What madness is this? Okay, it's actually just coming onto the field. Before I forget, we fire Wong Shuang first. Okay, and also first things first, can we wrap up the northern fight here? Can't reach. Alrighty, so we had a crash as we were moving this army. I hope that's not a big problem. But it looks like we might be able to fight this. Nope, we're just slightly off, which is fine, I guess. We might get counterattacked. Um, we also, because this crashed, we didn't get this move in. Same thing, can't reach. Gonna have to take care of that next turn. All the way out west, we shouldn't have that movement problem. This should be done. And once again, we probably don't have to pay lineage here because we're just marching this army right back through friendly territory. We're going to play throw Dashu into Zhuge Liang's army. It's going to be a range heavy army with some maybe frontline units for the captain retinue part. I'm going to go for... I guess it would make sense to go animal tamers and then bounce back down? Question mark? I don't know if it makes sense, but that's the way we're going. Yep, looters. Um, I'm guessing he's level 15, because looters, I think, spawn full groups. Two captains. I don't know if I want to cross first. I could just make that into a vassal, just because it's not lucrative, but... Hmm. We wouldn't be able to trade with it. That's the downside. And it could rebel on us. Maybe direct control is better. We know there's a group there. We know they could also land on us. I don't know if I should be scared. He should bounce back to full without... Yeah, we can do this. Okay, we don't need to be scared. We're not fully healed. Is there a crossing there? Oh, it's land. Let's just hop into the water. 
And then, if that looter group is there, I don't think they're home. It will still be two turns for us to get there. Still not sure if we're set up. They didn't cross over. I don't know what they're doing. But we're back. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take a little extra move. So even if we lose that, it'd be rather temporary. They move back. We are mustering, but we don't need it. We can come down and defend this. If they want to fight us, we have the garrison to fight with us. The ambushes are still active. We did spawn rebellion. I'm going to leave the rebellion alone. The problem is the Zhuge Liang's army is we already assigned this captain group. Which means we're not going to have front line except for these two units if we run Zashu with him, which might not be how we want to do it. And captains are just so much easier to run. There's no more range units. That's the big downside of Captain Renews. Drugodown's going to have to be the range unit. Hmm. Okay. Run another group of spears. Super cheap. 200 upkeep for 7 units. Can't click his face. He's gonna get... Siege weapons, juggernauts. One trebuchet, two juggernauts, and three crossbow units. I think that should be the ratio. Yuan Rong cross. That's his unique, I'm guessing. No. He gets bomb slingers. These are tier two. They are using guns. That's literally... A, that's like a Ming Dynasty weapon. Okay. Uh, we also have Bomb Slingers, which is the other question mark. Do we run Bomb Slingers? I don't even see them. Where are they? Am I blind? Not that I want to run bomb slingers, but like... Do they lie? Maybe I'm blind. I might have missed it. Fairly sure it should be a blue unit. Maybe it's a typo. Maybe they mean these. We are your own crossbowman, which seems to be his special thing. Let's get four of them. I can give up that extra mustering. But like I said, I think we can actually leave that alone. Jashu?
Yeah, bomb slingers. We're not blind. It just it wasn't there. When are we gonna run Defender of Earth? They feel like upgraded bomb slingers, but they're available on everyone. So I guess if you have bomb slingers available, we're not running them. These are gonna be invisible, self-sufficient. We don't need them to be even like protected technically. We can run double cav with them, no problem. We have very little lineage. We gotta wait. All right, I think Dong is pretty safe. We loaded up Dong. We are gonna do a two prawn attack, and then once they defend and counter, we can take this entire area back. This will get a little bit of extra help. We're gonna start moving. We want to stop killing groups. We want to actually fight them here, not kill them. Hmm, it's a bit rough. I want Galshwin to be fighting, but I guess we have to get them captains first. He's frontline heavy, no siege. He needs assistance. He needs someone to give him siege weapons. Let's send out... Can he get along with any strategist? Doesn't look like it. Oh, he's on assignment though. Can he get along with any commanders? We just want siege weapons. All right, I guess we don't have to care. You've been on the bench long enough. Administrator could use a few level up. Pick up some expertise. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, pick up some expertise. That's fine. We have cash. It's time to run these guys. Two of them and four of these. Don't have the cash. Okay, so we don't run anyone yet. We wait till we get closer. We use our last seasonal deployment so we don't waste it and give them cavalry. Back to spying. I don't think we're gonna pick up Zhang Dao. I think we pick up Li Ru and we're pretty much done with the faction. We keep the air, we get Lu Bu out, and then we're just done. I don't see how we can get it any more negative. It's literally 10 points from everyone. Or close to it. And 30 points on himself. Like, we're going to have to start damaging people that we don't really want damaged. Okay, so like, if we do that. It's minus 80. Yeah, he's just not going to come. The rule's still not going to leave yet. Oh, John L's willing to join the trash talking, so let's do that. He's a 25. He's not coming. There's no hope. We lock down the rule. So when they leave, they're still at least coming back to us. They're all leaving. There's, there's no point. We can make him leave, but then it's minus 10 less. Yeah, we're not getting anyone, so that, that's pretty much the situation. That's all we can get. We don't want the air to leave either. It's already low enough that we might cause a civil war. There's a big court, and Sima Yi is the only one we want from it, I think. There's a lot of available turncoats that we can probably end up picking up from Tulsa's faction down the line, but right now that's pretty much what we have. All right, so that's wrapped. Um, we spent the money there. 
We still need money for the characters, 14k income. We're still juicing it all the way up. Rebellions in Unping, concerning. What if we took it down a notch to normal? Dong is fine. Shangdang is fine. Liu Bei is nearby. Yeah, that's acceptable. We're just not making a lot of money. But probably enough for what we want. The defenses are all set up. And the attacking areas are all set up. Nope. I don't think we can get anything. Let's continue. Oh, uh, we have a little extra money. We could save it for... We, we could save it for the armies next turn. I don't know if we'll do want to do corruption reduction. That's the question. Jing Zhao probably should do corruption reduction. All right, we can afford that. And that. And that. Downgrade. All right, let's continue. All right, they bump into one group. We have two group that can help. We can also not fight. This delegate is definitely wrong because they're they're calculating this one guy. Who is our vassal, by the way? We're not done replenishing. I don't think we joined this fight. He lives. Yeah, it doesn't affect him. He can run to our ambush if you want to chase. That's sort of our plan anyways, to ambush them. Massive army lending in Longya, that would be Shen Pei's problem. Once he gets a beachhead in Luan, we should be able to launch more armies. Oh, that reminds us, we have a group in the south waiting for 8,000 so we can take Idril, but um, that's a tall task for our economy to handle with this minus 15. Looters landed. All right, we'll help him here. We don't want him to die. And it's free lineage. Sure, 4%. Not going to affect all these mustering. He's so far, it's fine. Minus six morale for three turns. All right, overall, not so bad. I think we can end things here. The northern fights, at least in the northeast, is going to be wrapped next turn, and then they can start sailing down. We have a couple of rebellions over here. Nobody's probably going to go run over there. They're coming towards here, which is very well defended by us. 
Yan Yang's group's gonna come down, join the fight. We're gonna take care of this and then go out and join the fight. Probably at Wu Path. Defeat some of the armies here. Tai Shi Ci on the way. Who's this girl? Oh, it was Zhu Lan. Zhao Yun. Have a couple. Oh, only level 13. Have a couple more fights. They're taking down the rest of the north. They're taking down the rest of the north. This will take a few more turns. Distance is just a lot vast. Emptiness in the north. Um, only one army. We have four. We can take it easily. Shenpei lands. And then we can send two out to join him. Take care of the Shandong Peninsula first. Save our vassals to secure our trade. And then push down here. Down to the Xu province. Where Taoxian is. And uh, start engaging the two other kingdoms at that point. Still keep probably two army here and don't as a defensive point. This is kind of the choke where everything's funneling through. Um, they might go north. We might need to send an army over somewhere over here just to start defending. We don't have a lot of cash. It, it's going to Galshun's army over here. And then once we take out Liu Bell here, they can land down, take out what is Luoyang. And then we'll figure it out about how to push back. It will have around three to four armies in this area that can start pushing down into Dobell's territory and see where that goes. So I hope you guys enjoy this one and see you all next time. Bye.